rolling. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Kimberly. Hi. Uh, Kim, you are about to take the Proust questionnaire. You will be asked 35 questions in rapid succession in order to reveal your true nature. Once the question has been read out, you will have five seconds to answer, and then we will move on. Once you have completed all 35 questions, you will have time to reflect on and even correct some of your answers. Are you ready? I'm ready as well. Okay. What is your idea of perfect happiness? Um, quiet morning with somebody I love. What is your greatest fear? Dying. What is the trait you most deplore in yourself? I overthink. What is the trait you most deplore in others? Meanness. What, which living person do you most admire? Lady Gaga. What is your greatest extravagance? I own way too many clothes. What is your current state of mind? Happy to be here. What do you consider the most overrated virtue? Graciousness. On what occasion do you lie? Only to men. What do you most dislike about your appearance? My forehead. Which living person do you most despise? It's a tough one. She knows who she is. What is the quality you most like in a man? Confidence. What is the quality you most like in a woman? Loyalty. Which words or phrases do you most overuse? I can't say them on camera. What or who is the greatest love of your life? My dog, Ryan. When and where were you happiest? Um, anytime I'm outside meditating. Which talent would you most like to have? I used to be able to do a backflip, but I want to be able to do it again. If you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? I wish I was more confident. What do you consider your greatest achievement? Graduating from college. If you were to die and come back as a person or a thing, what would it be? Definitely a cat. They seem very free. Where would you most like to live? Anywhere tropical, like Greece. What is your most treasured possession? My nameplate. What do you regard as the lowest depth of misery? Losing someone you love. What is your favorite occupation? This. What is your most marked characteristic? My eyes. What's your spirit in? A fox. What do you most value in your friends? No judgment. Who are your favorite writers? Sylvia Plath. Who is your hero of fiction? Batman. Which historical figure do you most identify with? Princess Diana. Who are your heroes in real life? My dad and my best friend. What are your favorite names? I love the name Sage and Rose. What is it that you most dislike? Cruelty. What's your greatest regret? Some of my tattoos. What is your motto? It is what it is. Bam. Okay. Okay, Kim. So, out of all those questions, which one like stood out to you the most? Um, I like the one about the virtues. That made me think of it. And like, when you were answering, were, were there any answers you gave that you were like, oh crap, I wish I didn't say that, I wish I said something else? Um, the one about just like, what I dislike about my appearance. Why? Like, forehead's like top out. I got a big forehead. Everybody has a big forehead. I was on, I wanted to say my acne scars because those are like I hate those things. It's hard to share things that you are truly insecure about, right? Yeah. I don't like to do that either. That's no. hard. Yeah. I, I mean, commend the fact that you like corrected yourself because I don't think I would be brave enough to be like, I'm actually like this is the thing that I don't like. Like that's yeah. I give you mad props for that. Thank you. Um, you said Lady Gaga, for which living person you would most admire. So, like, you love her. Why do you love her? I love her too, but why do you love her? She's just an icon. Like, she's just so herself in everything that she does. Like, even if, like, she's kind of, like, moved into the acting world, and even there, like, you could still see, like, her personality when 
whenever she performs. Yeah, she's chill. Yeah. Um, for your heroes in real life, uh, you said your dad and your best friend. Like, what would you say are your best memories with them that like made them your heroes? Um, it's hard to pick like one specific memory with either of them, but like with my dad, he's just like the smartest person I know, and he always has my back, and he always makes sure that I'm like set and like ready and prepared for everything that comes out of my life. He's like always been my right hand man and then with my best friend she's just like the strongest person i know i don't know anybody who's gone through with him but she has and she still like has a smile on her face every single day and is the sweetest person you ever meet you would never expect she's been through the things that she's been through and yeah she's my hero that's cool that's good um <clears throat> for uh what is your current state of mind do you feel happy to be here happy to be here how would you define that um, it's pretty simple. Just today, here with my work bestie, just filming. Um, yeah. Yeah. Pretty slow. It's it's fun filming. I like being on Um, and you said your greatest achievement that is that your college degree. Yeah. I think I feel the same way. Like I, that's such a great accomplishment. Like what? How did you feel when you graduated? I remember you were working at Iron Health when you graduated, and everyone was super pumped for you. Like what? What did that feel like? Um, when, you find, when you got to find the graduate. It's like a weight off your shoulders. It's like you finally kind of grow out of that cycle. It, it, it's, it's, you still feel like you're in high school a bit when you're in college. Like you do get like that sense of freedom, but like going to class is not the same as going to work. It's just like sustaining yourself and taking care of yourself and being an adult. And um, just even bigger than that, like I, I going through COVID, like, College was pretty hard for me, and I I was also going through some other personal things when I graduated, so just to like get that notch off my belt like was really, I worked very hard. I totally understand what you mean. Like, you still feel like you're in high school. I feel like when I started college, I had like imposter syndrome. I was like, I'm not old enough for this. <laughs> like, I'm yeah. not ready to like do, like you, have to go to class on your own, right? Like in high school, you like show up to school and you just stay there all day. In college, like you have a choice. You finally have a choice. Like I'm not gonna go to class today. Yeah, and, and nobody's then, gonna care. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So it really is like when you get your degree, it really is like it's a testament to your own choices. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, this is the last question I'll bother you about because I want to know about it. You said for your biggest regret. It was a tattoo, and I know you have multiple tattoos. So what tattoo do you regret the most, and why do you regret it? I mean, I kind of started to regret this one, but I don't want to talk about that yet. I, I get it. No, I, I just <laughs> went, too, I went too hard. If you if it stopped there, I'd be so happy. Do you want to put it in? <laughs> So you don't like the lower one? Oh gosh, they look so dark because they're fresh, they're new. They look good. What, which ones don't you like? I, I, the heart was supposed to be the focal point of it. Yeah. I don't like it. I can tell. Why don't you get it? I don't know. I, jazz it up or something. Like, I'm thinking. Or just yeah. make it a regular black star. I don't know. That would still be so heavy. I think if I still hate it, by like the spring, I'm going to get a butterfly. That's a, I love, I knew And I girl. think the placement would be really pretty here too. I love that. My old co-worker had a butterfly, same spot, and they, I loved it on her. Mm -hmm. I, so I dig that, I dig that. Yeah. Okay, that was good. You did the first questionnaire, how do you feel? I feel good. Yes, that's, that's what we like. My first thing to do. Yeah, um, and uh, how did it feel to be Iron Igniter? I love it. I didn't think I was gonna get it, but I'm, I'm happy I did. All right, well, you're the first person to do this. Yeah. It's very exciting. Test subject. All right, signing off.